Hi, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done in 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. We're continuing in a series of screencasts of how to use You Need a Budget. Here we've set up some basic accounts and we're going to need to allocate some of this money that's available to budget, but we need to make sure we know how to deal with our categories first. So let me show you how to the basics of how to create, add, and subtract categories. Uh, they have a pretty good set of initial categories that's going to be pretty helpful, but you may need to alter them. So let me show you how to add a master category. And the way they're set up is that they have these master categories and then subcategories. And you can kind of roll up the master categories and uh, you know not view all the subcategories if you want to. You just click on the arrow to do that. Um, you can also move them around. So let's see this little four arrow symbol. You can click on that and then drag it around and it'll move that category actually. My mouse just did something funny, so let's move that around. You can see that line, so I can move it down to there. Let's move it down to there. And that moves the whole uh, main master category with its subcategories together. Now you can also do the same thing with um, the subcategories. So let's say I wanted uh, life insurance to be under the personal master category. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I can just drag it right on down. So that's how that works. Now, uh, if I want to add a master category, I do that up here under the Add Category button. So let's say I wanted to add a category for debt and keep track of the debt I'm trying to pay off. I click on that, there it is. And now let's say I want to add a category. To do that, you roll over the master category and you see the little Add link here. So let's click on Add. And let's say I have a credit card account. So I'm going to type in credit card and then I'm going to be able to track paying off my credit card there. Now you can also add little notes um, in the categories and honestly this is potentially very useful but they don't allow you to print out notes and other things and so I haven't really used them much uh, but it's good to know that that's there. Now let's say I wanted to delete a category so I've already budgeted everything and uh, I find there's a category I never use and I just want to get out of the way. To do that I just click on the name of the category and actually this allows me to do two things. I can either here, I can hide it, which I'll show you where that goes if it's hidden, or I can delete the category. So let's say I want to delete the other category. Do I wish to permanently delete it? Yes. And it's gone. Now if I wanted to hide it, I could do that. And the hidden categories are here at the bottom. So it would go to your hidden categories down there. So that's the basic of categories. How to manipulate them, how to add, subtract, and edit them. And uh, that's it. This will help you prepare for actually going through and allocating your funds. And it will give you the flexibility and the tools you need to create the categories and, and customize that to you. Um, if you remember from previous posts, I don't recommend using just a, a preset categories. They can be helpful and you can start out from there. But, you know, add, subtract, customize it to your needs. Everybody's budget is different. And feel constrained to just using those preset categories. So that's it. This is Samuel Peary from Getting Finances Done, and until next time, we'll talk to you soon.